All right, so today for our writing assignment, we are going to do some brainstorming for our opinion letter, okay? So if you look at your checklist, it says to read page 168 and brainstorm some ideas for what you are going to write in your opinion letter, okay? And it says to complete the bubble map that I have provided for you, all right? So page 168 is just the parts of an opinion letter, okay? So it's very similar to um, the opinion paragraph that we wrote, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through this with you really quickly. Um, it says that it has three parts, okay? Beginning, middle, and end. Beginning, as you will remember, is green. Middle is yellow, and the end is red, okay? Just to differentiate the three different colors, okay? So in the beginning, it says a strong beginning should give your purpose for writing and state your opinion, okay? What are you writing about? and what is your opinion about what you are writing, okay? So over here on the side, it says states your opinion about the topic, okay? Your opinion has to go in the beginning. That's kind of the whole point of the letter itself is that you're giving your opinion, right? And then you're giving reasons to support that opinion, okay? So in the middle, each middle paragraph should give a reason for your opinion and give details to support the reason, okay? So in your opinion letter, you're going to have two paragraphs that go in the middle. Okay, because I'm going to have you choose two reasons, right? So each paragraph is going to have a reason. Okay, so the first paragraph will have one reason. The second paragraph will have the second reason. Okay, and then each paragraph, um, along with the reasons, is going to have details to support the topic. If you guys remember yesterday, when I went over the um, planning part of the opinion letter and the reasons I gave, underneath I put some details, right? Those are the details that are going to support your reasons, okay? In the end, it says the end of your letter should restate your opinion and ask your reader to take action. Remember how in our opinion paragraph, we restated our opinion, but we used different words, okay? We're going to do the same thing in our opinion letter, okay? And it says, asks your reader to take action, meaning that you're going to ask me because you're the, I'm the person you're writing to, you're going to ask me to take action, to do something, okay? And I'll go over that with you more um, as we go on with writing this letter, okay? So um, every opinion letter has asks the reader to take action. So we can't forget to include that because that's one of the most important parts, okay? So this is just showing you what parts are included in the opinion letter, okay? So I want to make sure that you read over this and understand what we're doing, okay, and what is included in the letter, okay? So, in terms of the bubble map, okay, you might be asking, well, what are we writing for our opinion letter, okay? You already know the answer to that because we did a little bit of that yesterday, okay? The question that I asked, okay, which story would second graders enjoy reading more? The Boy Who Cried Wolf or The Boy Who Cried Alien, okay? So yesterday, we filled out this, okay? This was mine, all right? But we, this is what I filled out, okay? So today what you're going to do is I just want you to brainstorm a little bit more, okay? And I want you to think, okay, of some more reasons. So the bubble map I gave you, okay, looks like this. I made it myself, okay? In the middle is going to be which story you chose, okay? So in my opinion, the story that I think second graders would enjoy reading more is The Boy Who Cried Alien. Okay, so I'm going to write The Boy Who Cried Alien. Oops. Okay, that's going to go in my middle circle. Very simple. Okay, The Boy Who Cried Alien. Okay, I'm assuming that a lot of you picked The Boy Who Cried Alien, okay? I don't know that for sure, but I'm assuming that a lot of you probably picked that one, okay? So that goes in the middle. Now, what goes on the outside? What goes in these circles? Okay, reasons why. Why did you pick that story? Why do you think second graders would enjoy reading this story more, okay? Well, in my planning yesterday, I gave two reasons, okay? So I'm gonna put those two reasons in two of my circles, okay? My first reason, was that aliens are cool looking, right? Aliens are 
cool looking. Okay, and again, you need to come up with your own reasons. These ones are mine, so I should not see my reasons on your paper. Okay, this is just an example to show you how to do it. Okay, so my first reason up here is that I wrote aliens are cool looking. Okay, my second reason that I wrote was aliens would be fun to study. Right? Aliens would be fun to study. They would be pretty fun, right? Okay. So now I need to think of two more reasons. Okay. And again, when we brainstorm, this is just to get ideas out and on paper. Okay. I'm not saying that you have to use all four of these because you're not. Okay. You're only going to use two. All right. But I want you, the more ideas you have, the easier it is to write a paper because then you have more things to choose from right? Because if you start writing, let's say you pick an idea and you start writing and you're like, I don't really like this idea anymore. Well, now you can go back and you can actually look at what other ideas you have and maybe you can choose a different one and maybe that one will be better. Okay. So let's think. I need two more reasons why I chose this story. Okay. Hmm. How about... I've never seen one before, okay? Why would I choose this story? Because I've never seen one before and it would be really cool to see one, okay? So that's another reason. All right, and now I need one more. Let's think. Hmm. I've never seen one before, let's think. One more reason. See, this is me thinking. And sometimes Miss Bennett has a hard time thinking of things too. Mm. I would tell all my friends okay so if you actually saw an alien wouldn't you want to tell people <laughs> that would be so cool I'm not sure if they would believe you but it's a possibility okay so if you saw something that cool wouldn't you want to tell all your friends so that's an, that's another reason why I chose this story second graders would enjoy reading more about the boy who cried alien because they'd want to tell all their friends right okay so now I have four different reasons okay so now I have some more ideas. So when it comes time to actually writing the letter, which we're not going to do just yet, okay, um, it's super important to make sure we go through the ideas part of the writing process first, okay? We've talked about this. It's the first step. It's called the pre-write, okay? Or as you guys like to call it, brainstorming, which is totally fine. Both of them are fine, okay? But it's super important to make sure we actually go through this process because we don't want to just start writing and then we get stuck, Okay, so we have to make sure we have our ideas down first. All right, so this is the only thing that I want you to do for today is to complete this bubble map. That's it. We're not writing the letter yet. Okay, we can't just jump in and write. We have to have our ideas on paper first. So again, in the middle circle is going to go the story that you chose, whether it's the boy who cried wolf or the boy who cried alien. Okay, and then in the four circles on the outside are going to, you're going to put reasons for why you picked this story. Okay, now two of the reasons should come from what you wrote yesterday. Okay, you already gave two reasons in this part. So take these two and put them in two of the circles. Now you only have to come up with two more reasons. Okay, so it's super simple, promise. All right, again, this is the only thing that you're completing for today. All right, and so once you're done with this, okay, then you can just wait until tomorrow for the next part. Okay, if you have any questions, I will be more than happy to help you. Just make sure that you watch the video first, okay? And then if you have additional questions after that, I would be more than happy to answer them, all right? I will see you guys tomorrow.